Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next training topic which is on ICNV. ICNV stands for Incremental Table Conversion. Okay. It is a method for online restructuring and reorganization of database tables. Key properties of ICNV are minimal downtime for table conversion because if the table conversion happens during the downtime phase, there will be a more downtime we may be requiring for very big tables so that's why this particular phase is extremely important this particular concept is extremely important we should use icnv wherever possible for very large tables okay sap upgrade invariably lead to changes in the structure of database tables sometimes this means that a complete restructuring is necessary with the conversion of each row in the table in the previous SAP releases, this conversion occurred during upgrade downtime, so increasing that downtime. Incremental table conversion with transaction ICNV now lets you perform conversions before the upgrade, that is, during production operation. The benefit of incremental table conversions are reduced downtime during upgrade, simpler conversion back to SAP standard for modified table, conversion of large table during production operation. During the prepare phase of the upgrade, the system checks whether the transaction ICNV can run with your database. If so, the system identifies all table that might benefit from incremental conversion. For example, this includes table containing large amount of data which would considerably extend the downtime of the upgrade. This all takes place automatically without any extra work. So steps performed in ICNV conversion are initialization, that is the prerequisite for the data transfer are prepared, data transfer, the data are moved from the table with the old structure into the table with the new structure. Switch to the new structure, the new table definition is activated, the table cannot be used during this phase, delete entry that is point of no return. ICNV conversion, the table Z data was modified in the ABAP dictionary, the length of last field of this, basically I am just showing you an example that uh, where we are performing this particular activity. Okay, so here you can see that this is an incremental conversion shown here, how the incremental conversion is taking place. Okay, we need to initialize it first. Okay, initialization prepares the table for the coming productive conversion. After preparation, the table can be used normally while its data is being edited by the incremental conversion program. Initialization includes the following steps. First is create the target table for storing the converted data. Okay, next is set up change recording with which the status of all data can be defined at any time. So it is very important that we set up this, that is we set up the change recording, that is any changes happens after this phase gets recorded. All deletions, insertions and changes to the original data can thus be automatically made to data that was already converted. Okay, we can go to control and click on initialize. Okay, next is data transfer. So during the data transfer, the data records of the original table are read, converted and copied to the target table step by step. The information in the change recording is used to ensure that the target data is consistent. The number and type of background processes necessary as well as the tables that actually have to be processed are automatically determined by the incremental conversion program. You have the following options. Start with control data transfer. Start. So this permits the data transfer and the number of background processes are scheduled. Any restrictions concerning certain server and in the number of process are taken into consideration. Okay, stop with the control, stop everything. And this basically prohibits the data transfer and all background jobs are descheduled. Running processes are given a termination signal if the process are just carrying out a long database operation, you will not immediately be aware of this signal. And the process only terminates it after the delay. Okay, then optimize with control data transfer. There is a check how many background processes are available on the valid servers and whether the number of background processes is limited. The number of processes needed for ICNV requirement is also determined. 
if necessary further background process are scheduled or existing ones are descheduled limit the re resource requirement the list of application servers on which the icnv process may execute can be set with this particular options and if you do not set anything any background operation servers will be used the maximum number of background process that may be used can be set using this option define exclusion items in addition to the ways of limiting the resource requirement already mentioned you can define when the data transfer should be emitted for each table with control exclusion times okay switch basically the switch replaces the original table with the target table after the switch system only works with the converted data this include the following steps lock the original table against further changes to the data convert the remaining data that was not yet edited by the incremental conversion program replace the virtual original table with the new target table reconstruct all views based on the original table to keep the non productive switch as short as possible the data transfer should have progressed quite far that is at least 95% of each individual table delete entry removing a target deletes the old original data removes the logs and deletes all logs the tables can thus be modified again in the article dictionary so basically what is happening in this particular process is we are trying to perform or transfer the data of existing table into the shadow table so what we are doing is we are performing this when the the system is still live when the live operations are taking place so we take a kind of snapshot and record all the changes whatever happens after that snapshot and once we are in the downtime phase only the deltas are migrated so this basically takes care of about 95% of the data already is migrated during the uptime phase itself and we are left with a very small data conversion which is just 5% using this technique we can drastically reduce our downtime okay that's all pretty much i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye